We are in the beautiful world, well, beautiful but dark world of Copperdale. I haven't really done anything in this world for a long time, but anyway, today we're gonna be renovating this house according to the rules of my new challenge, the Reno challenge. Okay, so rule number one, you can only move around and change the swatches of existing objects, interior and exterior, all right? Number two, for the interior, only add 20 additional objects, but not to replace anything and don't alter the interior walls. Number three, for the exterior, Exterior, you're not allowed to resize the house. Remember rule number one, all right? You may alter the roof completely. You may add 25 additional items, excluding debug. You can also add fences and pathways, and that's for the exterior. Alrighty, do so. This little house over here is—it's a very quirky little house. I have never really looked at this house ever since we got high school years, and I mean the interior is pretty darn empty. But we're, like I said, not allowed to remove anything we are only allowed to change the swatches and move around the objects that already exist this kitchen is actually pretty cool i really like it we cannot change any interior walls and no exterior walls and we can add any additional 20 items to the interior and 25 items to the exterior if i know myself by now i would have bulldozed this whole house but we gotta work with what we got so i'm gonna start with the exterior i think all right so we have this over here what is that Okay, here it is. So we can change the swatches of this exterior siding. How about yellow? <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely want to change it to something else. How do I feel about the orange? Okay, you know, I like the green more, but I want to do something different. Blue, maybe? And remember, rule one applies for windows and doors as well. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, you know, like you can just move around and change swatches of existing objects. And that includes basically everything, which means windows and doors so we can move around these windows and move around these doors but we cannot replace them with anything else are we really gonna go with the yellow or shall we go with the adorable pink yeah okay you know maybe we'll go with the pink this stone we can also maybe change up to a lighter stone now i feel like we can actually add a roof here we can do just what we want to with the roof for some reason i'm into the blue blue and pink you know what screw it let's go with the blue are we gonna do this one blue as well i don't know but let's just see how it goes. And I have to keep track of how many things I add to the exterior. You can have a pillar over here and on the corner. It just nicely excludes the one color from the other. Let's test this little puppy with a roof. What kind of roof styles do we have in this world? All right. So, well, normal suburban looking roofs. Okay, cool, cool. We'll do that. We'll have this roof going along here, maybe to here. Bring it down. Another one here. Okay, this house is actually pretty freaking cute with a roof i feel so we're gonna go with the roof maybe a dark roof no i'm not feeling the dark roof with the pink exterior you know i want to say no but i also want to say yes because this looks so cute actually what's gotten into me today ah maybe this white from snowy escape we have a literal blue roof which is actually a cool color but not for this house maybe this gray you know the gray can maybe work so over here we have concrete which basically basically means it is a floor tile. We can only change the swatch of this. But shall we really go with, well, you know, the concrete color or shall we go with a different concrete color? You know, this is kind of sickening. I don't like this, although the black can work. Are we gonna make that one black as well? I don't know. I suppose we can. I would have loved to actually add some plants here. So I am gonna be a tiny bit sneaky, all right? I'm gonna take away a few tiles over here. And because I'm doing it i'm allowing you to do it as well that is if you are renovating a house that is covered by well floor tiles i'm just gonna take away some of these tiles just to add a little bit of greenery to this bolt and we're gonna dirt it up dirty it up Okay, so we have a few plants going on around here. Okay, wait, how many pillars did I use? I need to keep track of this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four pillars so far. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so I added some more planter boxes here. I added this chair and the two potted plants. Over here, we have some climbing plants. So in total, we have 25 additional objects. So I cannot use any more than what I have already used. I just want to change up the colors of these boxes oh 
I cannot add any more objects. I forgot. Dang. Okay, so we have to work with this table over here. Cannot remove it to replace it or anything. Maybe I can actually give myself a little bit of leniency. Take away these two side planter boxes to add two more objects up here that I might have wanted to use but couldn't. Okay, now I decided to do this. Does this look right? You know, this long pillar in the front here? I mean, it does give the house a little bit more character, but that means I have only one more object that I can use at the back. So, you know, of course, that object is going to be maybe something functional. We could add this planter or a normal planter. I don't know. Oh, these are nice. Okay, we can use these. And sadly, this space at the back is just going to be empty. Yeah, that's a challenge. Anyway, so in the interior, we can add 20 additional items. Let's first see what swatches we have here with this wall paint. Ooh, I kind of like this. That's pretty cool. For the kitchen, oh my gosh, why do you need to have the exact same? wallpaper but okay okay let's maybe do the pinkish color for the kitchen and then for the living room we shall go bluish greenish i didn't even know what color we had before and also why didn't anybody add railings to the staircase oh my gosh oh wait you know there is actually one item i can take away this pillar over here so that we can add something here we can have whale bird that's cute so over here we have a clothesline that's realistic and i love it so these couches we should sadly keep. You know, I kind of like the peach, but I would still like to change it up maybe. This rug, I suppose we can... Why do I like this? Why am I into this? In contrast to the walls and the chairs, like I kind of like that red, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with the white. We can maybe have a flat screen TV, all right? One. Now you're gonna want to add something that actually matches the existing objects. Maybe these poofs, yeah, they could work. Maybe in the green swatch. This flower pot, of which the swatches I never change. Suppose we couldn't go with pink or no yellow yes <gasps> i can't believe it but we don't even have curtains oh my gosh which means we gotta have to keep that in consideration as well for when we count down how many items we already use now this is really pissing me off but that's okay you know it's all right we'll just go slowly with the use of curtains you know maybe i'm gonna move this table to here put something on that later because that hallway or that entranceway is very very empty and i don't like it you have to be very careful here with how many objects we use now. I don't think I'm gonna add anything in the bedroom or in the bathroom, but only mainly in the kitchen and the living room. Okay, I kind of like this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can use six more items, so I'm gonna be careful on where I use those six remaining items. Maybe some paintings could work as well. Wait, how empty is the bedroom? Pretty darn empty. So let's focus on the bedroom first. Okay, maybe two paintings up here and four downstairs. Wait, before we get to the paintings, we shall have a standing mirror somewhere to help fill up a little bit of space. And over here we can have a computer. A pooder. Okay, I counted wrong. We have five remaining items that we can use. So we have the exact same wall paint up here. Kind of sucks. Maybe we can go for green this time because we have pink downstairs. Oh, I'm not really a fan of the green. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and we had the stone on the inside as well. So we're just gonna go with the blue that we have outside. Maybe we can add a pillar here. I suppose it will make sense. Okay, that means we have four items remaining that we can use. We have to change the swatch of this bit, sadly too, but let's see what we have that looks good. Oh, maybe that. This I would like to keep green i like it four remaining items we can have one big curtain in here okay curtain up there which means we have three more items remaining okay let's focus on paintings now okay one two maybe one in the kitchen and three one for the bedroom how about this yeah, this is lovely. Okay, we used up all of our items. Maybe we can change up the swatch of this floor. No, I like I like the light wood. All right, the bathroom. Let's be honest, is there anything we can really change here? I mean, we have normal wallpaper for the bathroom. We don't even have tiles. I'm wondering if I'm actually gonna move this bed. This standing mirror can be there. And we only have one sad bedside table because I didn't think about adding another one. And it's okay, I'm not gonna add another one. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, and then maybe a different color for this wardrobe. Wait, 
watches turned yellow. These watches doesn't make any sense because um, I don't see any split colors on this disc. Like seriously, I didn't see anything. Oh, wait a minute. There is a color of something. Now, how does this look like when you turn it around? Oh, I didn't know these discs had color strips on them. Is that weird that I don't know that? Unless it came with an update. I know the swatches definitely came with an update, but I'm not sure about that color strip there. This I'm going to change to a dark color as well to match the dark woods of the rest of the items and this chair. Yeah, okay, that's that's nice, I suppose. All right, so let's go over to the kitchen. There's a freaking fly on my mic. Do you have any idea what fright that actually just gave me now? It gave me a silent fright. Like I got a fright, saw it, but I didn't really respond. Go away, god damn it. So are we gonna move around stuff in the kitchen? I mean, we could, so maybe we can put some of these counters on this side. Sink in the middle. We can have these guys over here, but I really want them to auto connect. Are you gonna auto connect? Are you? No. Are you gonna do that for me? Usually this thingy auto connects, but yeah, okay, it didn't now. So all right, we could. Yeah, you know what? I'm not really a fan of what I'm doing over here. Maybe move the mirror. Ugh the window yeah you know i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of this could maybe put these in the middle move the bin do maybe something like that you know we have a little island over here our makeshift island all righty oh my god this fly is very very bored should get a life or something well that's actually rude to say because you know flies they don't live long uh so yeah but you know do i feel bad no, I don't. Put this into the wall without it sticking through on the other side. You know, to make it look like some kind of fancy table. Like it's a attached to the wall. You see that? That's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure it's still functional. And then we still do have a little bit of more walking space over here. Painting can maybe be, I don't know, somewhere. Maybe here by the table. Yeah, okay, you know, I'm, I'm liking this more. This window, I would like to put there for some reason. Now, I suppose adding a rail to this staircase will mean that it's an additional object. So I don't think we are, according to the rules, allowed to do that. I already bent the rules a little bit by taking away a few blocks of towels at the back here for the exterior so yeah maybe i can take away one plant and add one more item to the exterior somewhere not exactly sure what but i really would like to add one more thing how about a cow barn? Okay, there we go. You know, this kind of almost looks like it's part of the house, but I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy today, at least. But yeah, if you want to look at the rules for this challenge, you can go to my Twitter page at Awesomer. It's still my old YouTube name. If you don't have Twitter, you can always go to my community post section on YouTube, and then you will also find the rules over there. I'll try and keep the rules there for a long time. If you are interested in trying this challenge yourself i think it's kind of challenging because it limits you a lot you have to work with what you have and it's not always easy to work with pre-built maxis bolts even if other simmer bolted for a world it still counts as a pre-built maxis bolt can i say but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little video thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next one